Hello YouTube, hello YouTube. What's up guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome back to my channel, welcome to a new video. If you don't know me, my name's Natalia and in this channel I share a bit of everything in my life. I share a lot about fitness, a lot about nutrition. I share some of my work, I'm an actress and a model, so I share the backstage of that. And I basically share anything and everything that is being helpful in my journey and that I hope could serve you in any type of way to make your life better. In this specific video, I want to speak to you about the three biggest mistakes that most of us are doing when trying to track our calories and that are actually really fucking up our results. I sleep with the beasts You walk me down in the streets You pull my leash and there I come mistake that so many people do when they think 200 grams of chicken they're gonna cook their chicken and then when they're serving it they're gonna weigh and then when they're weighing it they're gonna be like how much is 200 grams of chicken put the plate put 200 grams of chicken register in my fitness pal is done the reason why this is a massive mistake is because most of the food in my fitness pal is registered raw which means that the weight that the food has when you've already cooked it has nothing to do with the weight it would have had before cooking because of the amount of water it keeps and because of so many other factors. Therefore, if you're not weighing your food raw or if it's already a pre-prepared plate, you haven't made sure that it's marked cooked, you're not registering something that might even doubling the calories of the actual thing that you're eating and getting you super frustrated because you're not getting the results you want but you are tracking and you are making the extra effort. So don't be fooled by that, make sure you weigh your meats and most of your food raw and if you don't have that option, make sure that when you're registering it, you find the equivalent that actually says cooked. Okay, now the second most common mistake while tracking your macros in MyFitnessPal or any other application tends to be the fact that people scan their product and they don't double check it. The tool of being able to scan a product and actually having all the nutritional values into the application, it's a massive life saver and especially a time saver. But this does not mean that there are no mistakes. There are some mistakes regarding the difference in barcodes in different countries and sometimes the barcode is the same and you will register something that it's a random yogurt in Russia that has very good macros and you're like, oh, this is amazing, I can eat two of this. Actually, it has three times the calories you thought it had and your deficit of the day has that. This is very frustrating, believe me, I've done it felt like I was not advancing and realizing that because I ate the same thing every day, I was doing the same mistake every day and therefore I was just losing my time for weeks. If you have done this or you have found one product in my fitness file or any other application that is inconsistent, please let me know in the comments down below. It's gonna be helpful for someone else. And while you're there, please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to see my next videos because I'm gonna be posting a lot because I'm still in lockdown. And without further ado, the third mistake that you might be making while registering your macros is not registering your liquid consumption. This is one of the biggest mistakes I've seen out there and it's one of the most expensive ones in terms of results. I think at some point there was kind of like maybe a myth or something going on in the industry where people thought that liquid calories didn't count or that if you didn't bite into it, it wouldn't become fat. Or I don't know what happened, but a lot of people have a belief that liquid calories don't count. This is not true. Liquid calories count just as much as solid calories. So your sauces, your ketchup, your mayo, orange juice, the cappuccino that you're drinking, all of these things have calories. And if you do not register them, you're getting into the way of your own results because these calories are very, very meaningful. They're gonna mean just as much of the calories from your chicken. And if you're not being mindful of them, you're gonna be oblivious to the fact that they will have an effect on your body. And then you're not gonna see the results you want to see. I'm telling you this because if you're already making the efforts of tracking your food, it means that you're committed to what you're trying to achieve. So don't step on your own way. If you're taking the time and the effort to register, make sure you do it well, because why doing it if not? So remember, every single thing you drink, 
chai lattes, cappuccinos from Starbucks, cappuccinos from home, all your sauces, all these things, unless they are marked zero calories, which some sauces are and they're amazing, all these things do count. So do register them. That doesn't mean take them out of your diet. That's insane. We're going to have them. They're amazing. But just be mindful that they make part of your nutrition and they are going to affect your results just as much as the 100 grams of rice that you're having or the burger that you're not having. Sometimes these calories even sneakier because they don't fulfill you. So you think you're just drinking a Sprite and it's going to be chill and you're making the effort not to have that pizza slide that you really, really wanted. But actually the pizza would have had just as many calories and you're not even enjoying them in a Sprite when you could have had a Sprite Zero or a Coke Zero instead. So be mindful of liquid calories and register them. Them, please. I hope this was useful for you. I hope these are mistakes that you're not gonna make anymore and if you see someone doing you're gonna stop them from doing them. If this video is helpful don't hesitate to subscribe. Good luck with achieving your results. Have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.